The certificate of registration has been revoked since February 10, 2004. We thank the SEC. Your representatives are here, I believe. And um, we are given to understand that, in fact, PIRMA no longer exists as of February 10, 2004. Is that correct? Yes, Madam Chair. Um, your certificate of registration has been revoked since February 10, 2004. So, uh, when was this, in fact, registered? Um, the uh, PIRMA was registered uh, or incorporated on March 12, 1997, Madam Chair. So, from 1997 to, uh, to the date that you revoked their incorporation in 2004, I understand that uh, the... Uh, Reglamentary requirements, the documents that are uh, reportorial requirements uh, were not submitted, is that correct? And for that reason, you therefore uh, revoke its uh, incorporation? Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, since the time of their incorporation, they have not submitted any reportorial requirements with the SEC based on our records. Yes. Um, who do you have as the directors of this uh, corporation, please? Yes, um, you have uh, uh, Mr. Pedrosa, I understand, Polycarpio, is that what, am I reading properly here? Y yes, Madam Chair, uh, Mr. Alberto Pedrosa, Mr. Alfonso Polycarpio, yes. Ms. Elisa Salapantan, Mr. Horacio Montefrio, and Ms. Carmen Pedrosa. Yes, and uh, they have never uh, reported or updated their documents with the SEC. Yes, Madam Chair. What we only have uh, are their uh, articles of incorporation and bylaws that they submitted at the time of their incorporation. The name of Mr. Noel Oñate does not occur? None, Madam Chair, at the time of their incorporation. The name of... Uh, the uh, attorney, Anthony Abad, does not occur. None, Madam Chair. Nor is counsel, Ghana Incorporated, Ghana and Partners, um, in any of the listings. Is that correct? Yes, Madam Chair, none. I understand. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Onyate, please, and the rest who uh, have come as representatives of PIRMA, um, what is your participation in this non-existent corporation? Madam Chair, with regards to the uh, corporate registration of PIRMA, may we inform the committee that we made submissions in the online portal of the SEC updating the email and the contact persons. And after that, we are expecting a reply, hopefully, uh, giving us a schedule. It was made through an email, uh, Memorandum Circular 28 Submission port Portal, Kailan nga? February, just this February, Madam Chair. So, pagkatapos lang ng hearing? Kasi yes, yes, Madam Chair, senador. because it took time for Mr. Onyate to speak with his uh, former associates in Pirma, and we are, as soon as we are given but the go signal with the assessment. You are going to update the website of a corporation that has not been in existence for 20 years. You are correct, Madam Chair, but the process Wala is... Na Multo na to. The process is, Madam Chair, Wala we submit... Ma, 20 anos na. Ano pa pagpipilitan natin dito? That will lead to the filing of a petition for reinstatement once we were able to comply with the requirements and the payment of the penalties. That is our expectation from the SEC, Madam Chair, based on the rules of the SEC. Thank you. Tama po ba yun? Pagkatapos ng dalawang dekada na hindi nagsasubmit ng anumang papel, buhay pa yung korporasyon? Ma'am, the proper process is they should have filed a petition to lift the order of revocation and not uh, submit any uh, uh, the, the, uh, the compliance for MC28 that was been mentioning by Attorney Avisado.